Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got a Redmi Note 10 Pro, not in a good shape, but uh, still the device is working very perfectly. So the device I, is updated uh, from the MIUI 14 to Xiaomi Hyper Operating System. The face unlocking is working very fast and the fingerprint scanner is also working very fast. So the device got updated from the MIUI 14 to the Hyper Operating System. As you know that the Redmi Note 10 Pro will not get uh, officially Hyper Operating System. So we can still update the mobile phone by unlocking the bootloader and flashing the hyper operating system this hyper operating system is ported from the flagship of a china variant xiaomi mobile phone for for the redmi note 10 pro well this uh, hyper operating system is coming with the invite version 13 although i was hoping that it will get Android 14 but right now it is on Android 13 this hyper operating system is very smooth although there are those who are using or who have used the China variant ROM on any global variant, they will definitely know that the China MIUI or hyper operating system is faster than the global MIUI ROM, etc. etc. So the ROM is very smooth. All the application downloaded from the Google Play Store. Although the Play Store application is not coming by default with the ROM, we have to manually install it by downloading it from the internet. But the Google support is provided in the ROM. So we are having me dialer with a call recording because this is the this ROM is taken from the China uh, China flagship mobile and also we are getting the me SMS and the camera application is uh, provided with the ROM is totally stock me UI camera or I can say that uh, the features that uh, coming with the camera all the modes are working perfectly the rear camera and the front camera working. So the device is not uh, certified by default. We need to root the ROM and then we need to uh, make the device certified. So this is the control center, the Xiaomi Hyper Operating System new control center, which is working perfectly and looking good. Like uh, the many or uh, the users uh, really like to have a blur control center. Yes, this ROM is providing a blur control center. So those who like to have a customized ROM or like to have uh, to use new and latest operating system on the mobile phone, this is the perfect ROM for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. You will feel the you will feel like you are using a official release on the Redmi Note 10 Pro after using the Hyper Operating System ROM. Well, this is not the end of the Hyper Operating System. Hyper Operating System has been released a lot of uh, more for the Redmi Note 10 Pro, and I will be bringing all that roms on the redmi note 10 pro so stay stick with my channel by subscribing it like the video and uh, tap or click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so much now watch the video how to flash this rom on the redmi note 10 pro so starting the flashing procedure how to flash the hyper operating system rom on the redmi note 10 pro first of all you need to unlock the bootloader of your mobile phone if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader i will provide tutorial video link in my description in this video description you can watch that video unlock the bootloader and the bootloader will remain unlocked as far using a custom rom okay and uh, you need to save all the internal storage data this uh, procedure will format everything check the battery should be charged to maximum like it can get the rom easily and then go to settings the redmi note 10 pro must be having the ny 13 miui 14 because the ny 13 release with the miui 14 if you are having any custom rom once your mobile phone is updated to ny 13 then you can proceed the procedure flushing the hyper os on your mobile phone fingerprint and uh, we need to turn off the screen lock must turn it off to avoid any issue later and then if you are using xiaomi account you need to sync your account if you want and then must remove it same way go to additional settings then go to account sync sync your google account once and then remove it must remove the google account also later on you can uh, log in your google account back like getting the uh, hyper operating system wrong so if you have done all these things that, that i just told then you can simply power off the mobile phone as i mentioned before that mobile phone must have an unlocked bootloader moving towards the computer screen so these are the files that uh, should be downloaded for the 
to get the hyper operating system rom on the redmi note 10 pro as i mentioned in my earliest videos that i am providing all the links in my video description for to make the things easy for you all to get the file by click the link and download it straight to your mobile phone or to your computer so in the returning favor i just need you to stick with my, with my channel by subscribing it liking the video and keep sharing it thank you so much so this is the rom file this is the play integrity fix file and the play farm tools and the orange fox recovery for the redmi note 10 pro and the magis routing file first of all extract the recovery file then extract the play farm tool uh, file and then uh, open the extracted uh, recovery folder and copy the recovery file from the extracted folder go back open the extracted folder of the play farm tools and paste that recovery file over here right and then open cmd by right clicking on it then left click on the run as administrator click yes on next window the command window in black color will get open coming back towards the mobile phone screen mobile phone must be power off mobile phone must have an unlock bootloader and we need to boot the mobile phone into fast boot mode check the other side of the cable must be connected with the computer now the press and hold the volume down key and connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds the mobile phone will boot into fast boot mode release the volume down key immediately the phone is connected and also booted into fast boot mode coming back towards the computer screen on the command window type the command to flash the recovery the command must be fast boot flash recovery recovery dot img press enter key start it and done now we have to reboot the mobile phone into recovery first type the command fast boot reboot press enter key immediately press and hold the volume up key for a few seconds and when the mobile phone vibrates then you can release the key and the orange fox recovery will appear on the mobile phone screen now you can uh, turn off the command window go back to the downloaded folder command the mobile phone's uh, custom recovery screen appears also the internal storage appears on the computer screen and you can see that the folders are with the proper names you can see that so we, we can copy paste so i will go back to my downloaded folder and I will copy the Magis uh, routing file and the ROM file right from the downloaded folder and we'll go to the internal storage of the mobile phone. We'll paste both files on the internal storage. Well, as I mentioned before that uh, the Google Play Store is not coming by default with the ROM. So we need to download the Google Play Store manually from the internet and we have to install it. So this is the google play store that was downloaded earliest by me on the mobile phone storage so we got both files copied coming back towards the mobile phone screen unlocking the custom recovery screen then we'll go to the last menu then we'll tap these settings over here and then tap display and uh, make the timeout uh, to maximum we'll go back to the first screen right just check yes we got the files over here now we'll go to the third menu first then we'll select the Dalvik art cache then cache then metadata and data these four partitions requires to be selected and swipe and when done then go back to first menu and select the rom file first by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing now this the this flashing will take a little time we need to we need to wait here so the rom got flashed perfectly and then go back and uh, select the magis file to root the rom tap the magis file and then swipe the routing file got flash now go back then tap the third menu and tap format data and type y e s then tap here and then tap reboot system so the mobile phone will start booting to hyper operating system Android 13 very soon and the first boot will take a little long time first boot completed complete the setup screen 
So finally, ROM caught flash very perfectly. We got the hyper operating system ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, right? Now we'll go to la the end and tab additional settings, then go to the account sync and tap the Google basic Google services and turn on the basic Google services from here, then go back. And if I go back to account sync, add account. I, I can see that Google is uh, over, the, over here. Now I can simply uh, connect internet and uh, log in my Gmail account to start uh, using the Google services. But uh, there is no Google Play Store and uh, now we need to install the Magis file also. We need to make the device certified. Now at this time I will copy the Google Play Store. Well I will not uh, provide the link of the Google Play Store in my description. You can simply search it on Google. You will definitely find it. And then I will copy the Play Integrity Fix file and copy the Magis APK file. And this time I got the internal storage. We'll paste the, those files on the internal storage of the mobile phone. So we got the files over here and I can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and computer work done. Now come back towards the mobile phone, open the file manager, agree, then uh, go to storage, scroll down, first install the Google Play Store. Okay, and this time install the images file. Okay, done. We'll go back to main menu. We got the Play Store and we'll tap to turn, uh, open the images application. Allow all the time. Do your device needs additional setup for magic to work properly? Do you want to proceed to reboot? Yeah, if you see this so pop-up window, then must tap OK. Let the set boot, then I will continue. So the set got booted. We'll open the magic application once again. And on this window, tap cancel every time. Tap settings, then scroll down, turn on the Zygis, then go back. And tap modules, tap install from storage, tap recent, select the Redmi Note 10 Pro, change the view, scroll down and select the play integrity fix file and tap OK. When it is done, then tap reboot. So the mobile phone got rebooted and will go to turn uh, to open the matches applications once again once again. Just check the things. Tap cancel, go to modules and uh, if there is no red lines means that the, uh, the play integrity file is working perfectly. And we'll go back then we'll go to settings, go to apps, tap three dots, tap show all apps and search for, but well, we are uh, having a chi Chinese keyboard. But later on, after login in Gmail account, we can convert the Chinese keyboard by downloading the Google keyboard. We'll tap here, then we'll search for P L A Y. First, select the Google Play Store, clear all data, clear all data. OK, done. Go back, then select the Google Play Services, clear all data, manage space, then clear all data. OK, and done. Now things all done very perfectly. Simply connect the internet on the mobile phone. Log in your Gmail account. Open the Play Store. Start downloading the application on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Having the hyper operating system. Having Android 13. And uh, later on you can check the safety net. It will show pass. And also you will check the Play Store. It will show device is certified. So do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. Take a good care of yourself. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.